is up people welcome back to another episode of all the mods expert i hope everybody's doing all right i'm doing pretty good and today we're getting to something that i love doing actually i pretty much love it so much that i've even done videos about it you know i know it's minecraft no no it's something in minecraft but the first thing i'm actually going to show you is uh this thing here so i've tried to automate most of it uh this thing here works uh, i haven't done anything in the other ones but over here i'm trying to create basalt powder and for some reason currently the recipe is there but no item are getting sent into the machine and i'm not saying into the machine i mean into the interface in the back because check this out so if i tell it put an item in the interface it does put an item in here so that means that it's not able to reach this block because the relation between this block and this one are actually working correctly so it's kind of an issue that i have right now because this is going to be useful if you want to like do high quality high quality cablings for power and at the moment we don't have those cables because they're made in that machine so uh let's grab uh, obsidian and let's put this in there uh this is gonna allow us to uh well th this is pretty much just because i was trying stuff but yeah so we're not gonna work on this i'm gonna try to figure out a way to fix this thing if i ever come across one fix uh but yeah today what do we do well you know because guys we need more power no, we, we don't actually need more power, but <laughs> when we look at Draconic Evolution and we, let's say, try to do a sword, uh, the sword here, we need the Wyvern Energy Capacitor, but we need Octatic Capacitor, which needs Ludicrite, which needs Ludicrite Blocks, which need Blutonium, which needs an Arc Furnace, or I think an Induction Smelter for Plutonium, but that means we need Cyanite and Small Plutonium. Cyanite is gotten yeah i know gotten i don't know if it's actual word but it's gotten from big reactor which comes back to hop a pop hop graph it hink it yeah that's what we need to pretty much go into so if we go in extreme reactor because for some reason i said big reactor it's extreme reactor now uh this is what we gotta play with so of course we're gonna start by uh making uh some of these things so we're gonna need a couple of recipe going forward the thing is i'm not sure i've got enough steel uh i do hope i do because that would be uh sad 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 if i did not uh, can i do one of those yes of course i can and then we'll make this all right, so we're not going to do a big, big, big reactor. That's not the goal of this one. The only reason we're doing a big reactor, uh, an extreme reactor, is because we want to have... Let's make me sure I'm not... Okay, no, I don't have more of these things. Uh, it is because we want to get the ludicrite from it. Uh, yeah, the, the plutonium, which comes from the cyanide. So pretty much we're going to extend yellorium in it to cyanide in it. That's what we want, and then these are going to go into a crusher or a sag mill or a pulverizer and turn into uh, the ones that we want, the plutonium. Uh, this might need a little bit of time, and then when we get the plutonium, when we get four ingots, we can make one of these, and this is going to make us a one of these. And for this, well, let's just say we'll need a lot, like it takes four per, and this one then gets transferred for this one to this one and this one you get the drill like it's uh it's a circle around and just go with it uh so yeah pretty much we need to calculate how much it's going to take what i want to do is do a seven by seven so that's 49 uh and probably seven tall so we're gonna add six 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 so 24 so we're gonna be around 73 blocks just for the base so let's do i never know it's a reactor okay so let's go with 100 okay so it's gonna start making this because the thing is we're gonna need some of that so, okay it's normal glass at least it did not change that 
Okay, so we're gonna go and also make a recipe for this. Even if I'm making one reactor, we want a recipe. Okay, so that's the thing here. Flawless glass. This is where things get complicated because we need to do this one. And well, this one here, uh, the issue that we have is we need to use a calculator for it. So let's use the calculator. We've got a lot of this one, that's good, 31. But I don't think we got the stone, which if I remember correctly, was... We'll need like a bunch of this. I'm gonna try to make at least 64. So that means we're gonna need more ro gold, which was redstone and gold, I presume. So let's take this. The gold and redstone, yes, that was the case. Alright, and then we'll need this. If we look here, it says this, but it's not actually that. It is that one, so we need 64 of that one, and then we also need 64 of that one. There we go. Boom and boom, and then it's gonna do reinforce, and that's just a quarter of what we need. Two, three, four. I hope I have enough wood. That's a lot of wood. All right, let's put those in there, and then we'll do uh, this one. Bam, bam, and bam, bam, let's do bam, and let's do patow. And then we'll be able to do the recipe like so. Let's go 64. All right, perfect. And then the atomic, I placed it over there. So we can do bam, bam, and bam, and that's going to give us flawless diamonds. Oh yeah! But that's not all! We're not done. Because with the flawless diamonds we need to have glass. That's good. And then we go into, I believe it's this one. Or not. Uh, it's the flawless calculator. I believe I should have that one. Calculator. Yes I do. Excuse me if I take you. Like so, and bam. So there you go, two stacks of flawless glass, which is going to be used for this. All right. So I believe uh, one, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three. Oh wow, that's it. That's all I can do. We're gonna need more freaking flawless glass. FFG. That, that's what it means. Uh, how is my hop going? Eh, still good. Alright, so we're also going to need more reactor casing. Let's make another 100. Just for making glass purposes. Alright, so we're also going to need some of this. So I'm going to take a, one of those. Uh, we're going to need some of those. Two of these. We're going to need some of that. Uh, let's do a quartz. And let's craft. I don't know how, how many I need. I think I'm gonna go for eight. All right. There you go. Eight. Uh, we're gonna need a computer port, just because we can. And then there is the controller, of course. All right. So let's do reactor. How's it going? All right, let's do a stack of this. It's probably going to need more than that. Uh, a reactor. And uh, we're gonna come back to get this when we're done. All right, so I thought maybe we could put it next to our other reactor. And then I remembered that uh, I kinda need to think about chunk loading. Oh, but wait, no, it's, I, I don't need to. This thing loads the whole thing. I forgot about that. So yes, we can put it here. Uh, we're gonna put it like in the ground. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we do our square. Even if I was doing a seven by seven, I don't know why I calculated nine. But uh, we'll just fill the rest after, I presume. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys hear any noise outside, well, outside of my voice, of course, my beautiful, beautiful voice. 
Uh, the issue is they're doing like some sort of thing outside, and uh, I've got nothing to block the sound. Yeah, that's mostly my problem. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, it's the base, so we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then go across. Wait, is that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. We're uh, gonna. Oops. We're we're gonna put some torches up here. Yeah, I need. I I knew I needed more of these. I need about like uh, ten. That's not a bad number. It's actually not a bad number. But I'm gonna make a hundred reactor. <laughs> this thing. Make a hundred. Start. Uh. So I've got some glass, so we can start placing things. Uh, I'm gonna have to do to make more rods, that's for sure. But uh, for the moment, it's okay. So we're gonna put the controller here. At least five over here. It's perfect. Okay. Then we're going to place the computer port. One, two, three. There. We're going to place our redstone flux on this side. We're going to put these two over here. The controller rods are at the top, of course. Uh, and pretty much everything else I want it to be glass. So yeah, I might need more glass because I need 25 in average per side. And I have 64. So that's why I did a hundred of the thing. And not just that little amount. Alright. Oops. Yeah. Not enough. Alright. And what I was thinking is doing... Something like this. But as you can see, I need way more than this. One, two, three, four, five. So I need another same amount. So I need to do 64 uh, flawless, 64 of the other one, and all those kind of things. Okay, so give me another one of these. Perfect. I could have grabbed the reactor glass at the same time. Okay. Perfect. If you're asking yourself why this thing is at that height, you'll know eventually. Just not now. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna put glass here, but for the moment we will not. Well, we'll we're gonna put one, and then do the, the circular thingy here. Perfect. Whoa! Ow. That hurts. So... Alright, I'm gonna prepare everything else that needs to go in there because I need to also prepare some uh, blocks or liquid. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. Uh, I, I think I've got cobalt and these, so I could make some manilium. Can we? Oh, we can make it in here. That is good to know. I did not know that we could just do it in this machine. Uh, just mistake mixing these two together because I'm gonna need some manilium. And, uh, I mean, like, a lot. So, what I'm gonna do is, le let's see. Manilium. Okay, so, does it give one? It does give one when you mix it together. Say so, so, cobalt. One of these plus one of these will equal one of these. And then, what I'm going to do is place that in here. And then tell my system to do manilium. Uh, wait, let, let's do one more thing. Man, let's do man, let's do block of this. Alright, and then we'll be able to just, say, craft the blocks, because I can know how many blocks I need, but I cannot know how many uh, ingots. So, alright, Manilium, we're gonna craft, we need 25, 25, plus 2020. So, that it's about 100 minus 10. Yeah. 
Right, so next and start. This is going to take probably a while. Oh, this one you can cancel. It's not working. Uh, so yeah, it needs to make all these. So it needs to go in the machine and the machine needs to, yeah, to do this. So it's going to take some time. So, all right, I'm going to continue preparing everything and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I should have everything in my inventory for this. Uh, I also have uh, something on my other screen that should, in theory, do everything that we need. But the first thing I'm going to do is take all these blocks and pretty much litter the whole thing with manilium. Uh, simply because it's one of the best blocks that you can do this with. Uh, there is also some other block that you can use. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. But uh, these are pretty good blocks that you can use. Uh, I think the best one is Vapor of something. It's from Ender.io. And uh, the only problem is at the moment it's a little bit too expensive for me. Uh, I don't have, well, the material and the stuff to do it. Oops. Okay. Nice, I have enough. I wasn't sure I made enough for the middle here. Turns out it did. So I've got five left. So it turns out it was 80 and not uh, that amount. But uh, all right, let's close this thing. So it should form as a full fledged. Wait, it's not. How okay. come? Um. Oh wait, Dunk. There we go. Full fledged reactor. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to have some fuel in there. So let's do a yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this with a hopper. I'm not actually... Oh, I don't even have a hopper. Yeah, you can see my inventory. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Uh, you can see in my inventory what happened pretty much. Uh, I kind of need to put a controller in there. So I'm going to use a computer for this, which is based on my own program. So if you didn't know, it's one of my most viewed videos. So I don't know what you're doing. Are you sleeping under a rock? Kidding. <laughs> so this one, wait, oh yeah, this one. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just simply going to put that there and it should, yeah, it should fill it up. All right. So what we're going to do, we're simply going to start it. Even if it's uh, filling up, we don't care. Uh, the only thing we care about is this thing. So it does 12,000 or 13, 14,000, 14,000 RF attack. Uh, I don't know how much fuel it's going to use, but that's pretty much what we want. So now we're going to go into uh, our next step. What we're going to do, we're going to put 15 screen. And I just remembered that I forgot to do one thing. And it is to make a keyboard. Because you need a keyboard or else you can't type. That's the rule. Okay, so keyboard. That thing. Oh, yes, of course. This. Uh, let's be honest, we need more keys to make keyboards. Uh, one, two, three, four. And one of these. Bam. And there we go. We've got a keyboard. So let's put this thing on the side here. We're going to put... Uh, we're going to need another one of those redstone flux. Because I need to power the computer, and the best way to power a computer is from the reactor itself. So, uh, red, uh, no, port. Let's just do that. And we're going to get uh, this one. That's a redstone port. It. Okay, reactor. Here we go, this one. Bam, perfect. So we're going to remove this block here, place it with this. Again, we're just going to have to restart it so that it continues. Uh, we're going to place the computer right here. So the reason it's right there is because it's going to be powered by this. And uh, when we want to connect it, we're just going to pass a cable to it. All right. So first things first, we need the EP ROM, we need this, we need that, we need this, this, this. And uh, that one, no, that one needs to go there. This one can come here. Then we can do turn on. Oh, 
no RAM installed. Oh, I forgot to do the RAM. Oopsie. I, I, I was sure there was something I was missing. It turns out it was RAM. RAM. So I'm going to do this one. So let's do chip. U3 start. Going to, yeah, it needs to make this one. As it turns out, I had an issue over there. Uh, it wasn't outputting my things. Now I don't have the issue anymore. So it is lovely. One done. Come on. Still crafting this. There we go. And there we go. We got memory now. 3.5. I hope it's gig. Or gigabyte. That in there. And... Really? Still freaking out? What are you missing? Oh yeah, I forgot to put uh, <laughs> Lua on my AP run. That's what I'm missing. There, there's a couple of things you need to make sure to have when you do this. Uh, so we need one of those. So I need to make a microchip again. Uh, that one. There we go. Do this. Bam. Let's do that there. That there. There we go. Let's go back. There it is. Green lights. There we go. We're getting the information here. So, do, do we have any uh, output yet? Yes, we've got one. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to do install. Oops, install, not intel. And again, I can't type. Install. Yes. So now it's going to install on the drive because currently we're running it on the uh, disk. Installing everything. So it should be done soon and we're going to say restart a computer. Wow, it's taking longer than I anticipated. Installation complete. Yes. So now it's rebooting. Should be a lot quicker. And boom. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to click insert. And it's going to insert this. And we're going to click enter. So now I downloaded my program. Uh, this is my program, by the way. Uh, then we're going to do a cd dot dot to go back. Uh, over here, we've, we're in the init folder, like even before home. So we're going to do edit auto run dot Lua. And we're going to paste this thing again, just because I'm lazy, I'm going to paste it. But it's OS that execute home stat slash start dot Lua. So we're going to do uh, control S control W. And then we're going to do uh, CD home. And uh, LS over here, we only have the start dot Lua. And normally I would start it if I was connected to this, but it's going to change my things uh, because if it's full, it's just going to drop everything. And currently I'm not trying to use this for power. I'm trying to use this for cyanide. So now that we get cyanide, let's, uh, let's continue. Let's continue in what we were doing with this one. So we need to turn it into dust. With the dust, we then need to use it for small plutonium. So... Oh, that's not the... There we go. Oh yeah, I can't fly. Uh, we're gonna grab all our things. So plutonium. Grab one of these. Now we go to the arc furnace. Wait, is it only the arc furnace? Yeah, only the arc furnace. Or, no. We can use... Oh, it's two. Huh, yeah. I don't have two. So let's go to the arc furnace. Here, we're going to place this and that. Should, in theory, give me what I need. Oh, I could have used this to make the slag. Uh, not to make the slag, but to make the, the fio fluorescent thingy. So we've got one plutonium. Now we only need three more. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So yeah, pretty much I will have to wait for this. But uh, yeah, so maybe we should put this here and do it's an in. This thing should output. Or maybe what we should do is try to make some storage for power. So let's do capacitor. And which one can we do? We can't make the vibrant because they need this. So we could probably make the this one. And of course, I don't have the double. So let's see, can I make a recipe for this one? Really? I don't have any energetic alloy. Start. Make me some. I know you can. There we go. There it is. So we got the double right there. Double whammy. Here. Then we can do capacitor bank. Oh, wait, yeah. Double. There we go. It should allow us to do this. Bam, bam. And now I will be able to put that thing here. So capacitor. Let's do... I need four. Of course, I was going to miss some of those. And silver clumps and cancel. So can I make one? Yes, I can make one. Uh... What does it need? Need coke dust? Huh, okay. I didn't think it was needing coke dust. There we go, we got one. Uh, let's go put it there. I do believe it's only able to transfer 5,000 though. Yeah, it's only able to do 5,000. So this thing's gonna produce 10,000 more. So it's never gonna empty. Hmm. But yeah, so I will have to continue waiting to get those and in the next episode we're finally going to be able to do stuff with it. So yeah guys, that is going to be it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And next episode maybe you'll see this program. I can't run it because I need it to use all the Miller buckets it can. So alright guys, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.